Ali, this is Action and Comics 2 from the New 52. One of the things I like about having a small channel like this is I can actually respond to people and do comics in response to what they say. I mentioned this in a reply to Comic Gate's Creeper on one of the Onion videos. This is the new 52 Superman book by Van Morrison. I read this and I was convinced that I had already reviewed it. But I searched and apparently haven't. New 52 Superman. It is one of the things that is pointed to a lot as a failure of the New 52. The problem was they had two Superman books. And on one, this one, you had Van Morrison doing his own thing. We will come to what he's doing in a bit. And then on the other one, Superman, it was written by O.A. Perret. He left after four or five issues because communication was so bad that he had no idea what was canon anymore. Van Morrison was setting the character up and doing his backstory in this book. And O.A. Perret, he was doing Superman in the present. But the editors just didn't have a clue. It was badly managed, like most of the new 52. I think this had a ripple effect of causing more people to be dismissive of Van Morrison's book. And it already had problems. It was a new 52 book, so it was alienating everyone already. It was Van Morrison who some people passionately ate. And it was reworking Superman and his originee. This was Gannon Back and Dean. Young Superman stuff. Golden Age Superman style things. Superman couldn't fly yet. He was still just learning stuff he could do. He didn't have a costume, he had a t-shirt and a cape and some jeans. And his presence on Earth was only now being discovered. It's like, it's very ultimate Superman. Lenny Lufaz is written really, really well in this though. The army, they have captured Superman. And now Lenny Lufaz is running a bunch of tests and experiments on him. I'll be honest, a Superman originally story is not something I really need. There have been plenty. Van Morrison is a very accomplished writer and I would be interested in what he has to say. But this just seems very... When did Superman Earth 1 come out? This seems more in line with the sort of thing that the day with them Earth 1 books. This feels like... You know what? This feels like a book that I probably should like. I like Golden Age Superman. But this is... Taking the parts of Golden Age Superman I like out of the equation. I like Superman having been around in World War I. I like Superman being odd and experienced now. I like Superman being considered as like... The biggest, most respected, greatest hero on Earth. I like Superman having a bit of salt and pepper ganning on with his air. 
I'm sure Van Morrison does some good stuff with this book, but I think that it has been a decade and I still haven't looked at another issue is all that needs saying. We have some of the awful New 52, new ideas, and one of them is that Metallica, the Superman baddie, Metallica, he is now Lewis's ex-boyfriend. Stupid, I hate it. Convenient, needless. It is so, so ultimated Spider-Man. Another criticism I would throw at this comic is one that I throw at most New 52 comics. And that is that it is short. That was short as in length. Not me saying shite in one of the weird accents we have our ear. I have described New 52 comics as feeling like... The eight page previews that they include at the back for a new comic. There is one of them in this issue for a Batman one. This story, if you cut out the Lewis subplot pages, this really does feel like a preview for a comic rather than a comic. It's really just one scene. Superman is being held prisoner, he escapes, that is, it is such an eight page preview thing, a uh, good artist, good writer I suppose, people didn't really talk about this one, I saw a crappy list on a crappy website of the 10 best new 52 comics, and it listed action and comics, but it was action and comics by Gregory Peck. And it implied what came before was rubbish. Opinions are opinions, but I think Van Morrison, he deserves more thought than just being implied to be rubbish. I always at least try to offer explanations for my points it is over now by the way the story very very short i counted the pages before recording this it is 20 pages which is less than a standard comic but it was also more pages than i was expecting it really doesn't feel like 20 pages we have some behind the scenes stuff here with Van Morrison and the artist discussing what the goals are and things like that. And this is quite long and more involving than the comic itself. It's The comic's not bad by any stretch. It is just short to the point of... I don't think anyone can read this issue by itself and not come away from it feeling that it was short. It was one scene, Lenny Luthers, he is written well, and then Superman escapes. It just doesn't feel like a full comic. We get to see some of the artist's design work here, and then we have... A preview for a Batman comic. And this reads exactly like the main story does. This issue of action and comics. It could be put in the back of a comic like this has been. It is what it feels like. It feels like a scene and a sequence for this sort of thing. With the new 52, I think, other than Animals Man, every first issue feels like that, like a preview. 
This isn't even the first issue, and it feels like that. The New 52 was definitely adopting the Michael, Brian, Benson, Ultimated Spider-Man, Decompressed Approach. And some people might praise that, but it is terrible for comics. It is insulting. You just feel like you haven't gotten a full comic. It might read nice in a trade paperback, but comics are released as single issues first. And that is the format they should be written for. That is the main format. They didn't release a new next-gen video game to all the ad consoles that cannot represent it very well first. So it didn't do the same shite with comic books. This isn't awful. I just wish it was more of a comic and less of a sampler. I give it seven thumbs up.